उत्पन्नु धर्मु निरोधो नोपद्यते नो युक्त निरुद्धे प्रत्यय अनुत्थु धर्मु निरोधो नोपद्यते नो युक्त निरुदे प्रत्यय MMK chapter 1 verse 9 Where dharmas are not a reason termination is not possible On those grounds the gapless is not workable And where termination has prevailed what cause is there Where dharmas are not a reason So this is in Sanskrit it's going to be another locative absolute phrase and uh, dharmas locative plural is dharmeshu dharmeshu locative plural of dharmas and uh, not a reason is an utpana so utpad means to spring up to arise as in pratitya samudpada springing up together by going back dependent arising so past participle of utpad is utpana utpana means not an anut so utpana means a reason anutpana means not a reason anutpana anutpaneshu dharmeshu means not a reason dharmas locative plural so when dharmas are not a reason and so when dharmas are not a reason is an expression of emptiness because where where things are empty where where all is empty things do not arise so uh, when dharmas are not a reason it means when there are dharmas when there are empty happenings but there is no arising of things there is no arising of dharmas as things there's there's happenings there's the happening of dharmas as empty happenings so an utpaneshu dharmeshu in that emptiness nirodo no papadyate termination is not possible so nirodo is nirodaha which is a masculine singular nominative of niroda niroda means cessation termination destruction no papadyate is na plus upapadyate so na not upapadyate possible so nirodo no papadyate termination is not possible so in the world of emptiness termination cessation is not possible so we have to be clear what what it in what sense cessation is not possible because the whole point of the buddhist teaching of emptiness is cessation of suffering is possible so what it means by cessation is not possible it means it, it's not possible to stop suffering as a non empty thing so stopping suffering doesn't mean that suffering exists and we cause it not to exist stopping suffering means we we abandon the ignorance which causes us to conceive of suffering as a non-empty thing and what that means is in more simple terms is stop worrying and get on with something get on with it you know that, that's what the the wisdom of the british public is telling the politicians at the moment just bloody get on with it we're fed up of political messing about 
So that is that is the truth of suffering. Get on with it. That that's the Buddha's teaching. Just bloody get on with it. So in that sense, the cessation of suffering. When you stop worrying and get on with it, that is cessation of suffering. But it is not. It does not cause suffering not to exist. So in that sense, nirodo no papadyate. Termination is not possible. Anutpaneshu dharmeshu nirodo no papadyate. Where dharmas are not arisen, termination is not possible. On those grounds, ato. So ato, uh, before sandhi, is atas. So tas is the ablative suffix, as we had in the previous verse, kutas. Kutas means from where. Atas means from that. On those grounds. On those grounds, the gapless, anantaram, the third of the four cornerstones of causation, we looked at in verse 3. On those grounds, the gapless, ato, anantaram, na yuktam, is not workable. So, uh, yukta is the past participle of yuj, as in na yujate, not, is not workable. I translate na yujate is not workable. It means it doesn't work in practice. It's not practical. And yuktam means the same thing. Na yuktam, not workable, not practicable. So, na antaram, na plus antara, nanantaram ato yuktam. On those grounds, the gapless is not workable. So, in the world of emptiness, there are no gaps. So, in that case, the gapless is not workable. It's not a practical, practicable concept. Nirude uh, pratyayas chakaha. So, nirude is locative. <clears throat> so, I've just I've taken it as if it was a locative absolute phrase. Where termination has prevailed. So, that's a bit of a leap. The original word is just nirude. Locative singular of niruda. So niruda is the past participle of nirud. So niruda means cessation and nirude means ceased. So nirude means literally in being ceased. In the being ceased. So in termination. And I translate it and. I translate it where termination has prevailed. So, where termination has prevailed or where cessation has prevailed is, for example, I just use the example of when you've got on with it, you've been worrying, and then you've got on with it, you've gone into action. In that situation, termination has prevailed, you've stopped worrying. That's what I think Nidude means. It's a situation where Something has stopped. So something has stopped. It's, it's the descri description of a happening in practice. It doesn't mean there was there was a thing that was being caused not to exist. In that situation where termination has prevailed, what cause is there? So pratyayaha is nominative singular masculine of pratyaya, cause. So pratyayaha means there is a cause. And pratyayaha plus cha with sandhi goes to pratyayascha. Pratyayascha. And there is a cause. Kaha, question, what? So pratyayaha and kaha means what cause. Or what cause is there? So nirude pratyayas chakaha. Where termination has prevailed, where where it has been ceased, the subject is, is not uh, given, but it could be suffering. For example, usually with 
Niroda, one thinks of cessation of suffering. Nirode, where cessation has ceased, where termination has prevailed. Pratyayaschakaha. Pratyayascha, and there is a cause, kaha what? Nirode pratyayascha kaha, and where termination has prevailed, what cause is there? Anutpane shu dharme shu nirodo no papadhyate nanantara mato yuktam nirode pratyayaschaka. Where dharmas are not arisen, termination is not possible. On those grounds, the gapless is not workable. And where termination has prevailed, what cause is there? 